How goes it, everybody? My name is Howitzer, and welcome back to SnowRunner. And today I have this one. A Bulldog SX45 Ogre. Now, I had planned on making a video of this, what, last week or so, maybe? But the truck had a couple issues. And it was actually kind of undrivable. So the modder did actually fix this truck. The Wandering Merc is his name. And I don't know if I've ever done a mod from him yet. But the truck is fixed. It does move. It should do everything that it should. Sometimes it just takes a little time. You gotta be patient. But it seems like it would be a really good hauler. And I've, I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for him to update it. And he did. So let's see what we can do to this thing. All right, for engines, we have the stock V16, V16 field tuned and a heavy duty V16. Let's do that. Get the most power we can out of this bad boy. Gearbox, we have fine tuned, balanced and off road. Uh, we'll do the off road one for now. We'll probably switch it later though. For suspension, you have the stock and then the raised. Looks like it just raises it up just a little bit. Sure. Tires. Now he's got just a little selection of tires. He doesn't have a whole bunch of them. He does have some options. But I think we'll just stick with the tires that it comes with. The uh, the TWM Titans. I don't know. We'll give that was a shot. I don't know. Winch got stock extended. Advanced. Got extra heavy extended. Then the twin motor. I'm not sure if any of these are offline. But we'll go with the real big one. Sure. Spare wheel. Yeah, we don't need those. Frame add-ons. From the beginning, it looks like just your normal add-ons. I don't see anything real special. Uh, no saddle low on this truck. It's only saddle high. But for right now, we'll just do the flatbed because it's nice and simple. Visuals. We have the like a winch rack, which it doesn't really do much except... Uh, just kind of change the look of the truck. Exhaust, you got double rear stacks, double rear offset, or the hood stack. We'll do the, the offset stack, sure. Rooftop, you got the roof lights, horns, a little reverse spotlight. You got beacons on the top. But we'll do the, 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 the cab lights, sure. Front bumper, you got the stock, you got the stock in black. The Benton Black Bumper, or in black. Extreme Duty, also in black. With a logging bumper, and in black. <laughs> so honestly, I'm just gonna stay with the bumper that it comes with. Cause I'm, I'm always about that approach angle. So we'll just keep it the way that it is. Colors, looks like normal colors. And then you start getting into some two tones where you're like, part of the truck will change color and He's got a whole hell of a lot of options, really. But I think I'll just keep it white. Why not? Sure. Actually, you know what? Let's do like the gray, black, white combo. Sure. Just to give it something. No interior exterior customization. Let's go see how this thing does. Again, I wasn't able to drive it, so I have no idea how it's going to do. So let's just find out. Well, this is a pretty big truck. See what the inside looks like. That definitely looks old school. Pretty minimal though. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't sound too bad. Get flocking all-wheel driver on all the time. That's kind of nice to see. And it'll pull the big boy trailers, which I like to see as well. So we'll probably do that later. I want to see how the truck does on its own first. And then we'll maybe do some towing. Well, the steering is pretty slow. Oh boy. We'll take it down to the mud pit. Oh boy. I hit that rock a little hard. 
I went right right through that. That did that did okay. Not too bad. Let's see how it does Schwampy Town once. Still holding on to six gear. We haven't dropped yet. Oh, there we go. It finally dropped. I mean, it just seems to be chugging through. Doesn't seem to be doing too bad. Doesn't seem like the tires are slipping all that much. You get into the water, obviously, it, it'll start, but... In the mud, it seems like it's doing okay. Oh, there's some different tires to choose from, so... These might not be the best, I have no idea. Over the down trees, decent. Alright, here comes the deep spot. One thing that might actually hurt the truck is no snorkel. So I'm not sure how much water you can actually uh, ford with this thing. Yeah, all in all, it did that pretty well. I've seen trucks do better and I've seen trucks do worse. This was pretty much right in the middle. Not bad. All right, here comes the river. Yeah, again, I don't know how deep you can actually go. But it seems like if you do end up stopping, it just goes in the first and then it just kind of walks itself out. Very good. Let's go do some other stuff. Yeah. Let's take it down here once. Let's see how it does some of this, I guess. I know it's not made for it, but you like to see how it'll do on the rocks. See how good the tires are anyway. Uh-oh. Oh, that bumper. Oh, yeah. I'm right on the bumper. Let's change our line here. Let's see if we can go a little more diagonal with it. There we go. Yeah, it actually crawled up pretty well. Oh. Well, the tires actually don't seem, oh boy, all that bad. Now, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get it up there or not. I can't hit it straight on because the bumper sticks out too far. Oh, man. Yeah, oh. Let's not do that. The bumper just sticks out too far. That's okay, though. I think we'll just go straight into the towing test. We'll grab our trailer. Put the ramps down. Let's go grab ourselves a truck. All right, we got the Kitty 680. Actually set it right this time. Let's, oh God, let me get it on the trailer. Oh, all right, we got her up there. We'll pack it, put the ramps up. Let's go see how this thing does. I mean, just taking off right there, it doesn't really seem like the truck really cares. I didn't do anything to the truck. I didn't change nothing. Let's go see how this thing handles the hill. Because that's pretty much the worst part. It's right, right at the beginning. That's where I usually have my most trouble. If a vehicle is going to give me issues, it's pretty much the hill. And we couldn't hold on to whatever gear we win, we were in. But first gear just seems to be chugging along. Seems like the tires are doing all right. Not seeing too much slippage. Oh, right, right there. 
<laughs> Seems like every time I say it, that's when it happens. Yeah, it, it did that. Pretty decent. I mean, it, it was slow, but it didn't really show any signs of stopping. Yeah, it did pretty good. Go over the little whoops here. That's doing pretty good. Yeah, I bet this would be a pretty good hauler if you really needed a heavy hauler. It wouldn't be bad. Oh boy. Well, couldn't hold on to the to the gear it was in. I wasn't paying attention to what gear it was. Like I said earlier, once it drops in the first, if that's if you're in automatic, I guess. It just pulls right back out of it. Yeah, I'm really, really glad that he fixed this mod because this truck actually is pretty decent. I think this truck will try it. We'll see. Not a good start. I'm not sure about the tires on on this kind of stuff. I wonder if a different set would do just a little better. Uh-oh. That might be all I got. I don't know if I can... Uh, get any further than that. Oh, I... I think the truck is done right there. Let's see if I can... get out of it, though. Oh. Let's see if we can get down the hill decent. Oh boy, where am I going? Oh no! Oh! Oh! Oh boy. Oh! Well, I actually did all right on that. <laughs> Good thing the trailer flipped all the way around. Otherwise, I would have been pretty screwed, I bet. And the winch is not an offline winch either. All right, we got the truck back on the trailer. Let's just keep going. It's a, it's a decent hauler from what I've seen so far. It's not bad. I wonder if going with those other set of tires would be better. Because they're a lot wider. I don't know. That's for you guys to figure out. I don't want to deal with all that. Let's see if we drop gear through here. It's usually... Okay, well, this truck didn't end up doing it. Sometimes trucks will drop gear in weird spots and that's one of them. But it didn't, it didn't drop gear on that time, or at least with this truck, I should say. see what happens when we go through the puddle. Oh, yeah. It dropped. That's okay. 
the truck did just fine with everything else. That's not a it's not a bad thing to me. But I've seen all I need to see. Well, that was the Bulldog SX45 Ogre. This thing actually is pretty decent. Yeah, you're not going to get anywhere like real quick with it. But it seems like it'll pull just about anything you put behind it. Another awesome truck. Some people are making some pretty decent heavy duty trucks. This is definitely one of them. Nothing like too special with this truck. But at least it'll damn near go anywhere you want to go with it. Good job with this one. I liked it. Check it out. The truck is fixed now. It works. And it works damn good. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Hit that subscribe button for me as well. And I will hopefully see you in the next one.